Hi, this is Amanda from Writing Research and Technology. Um, I'm here to give my response about um, a documentary type of film that we watched called When the Levees Broke. Um, it's a documentary about Hurricane Katrina and how it affected the people in New Orleans and the surrounding area. Um, overall, with the, I really, really enjoyed watching the film. Um, I wasn't expecting it for some reason to be as interesting as it was because I don't I don't know I just didn't really know to the the way they were going to film the documentary and like exactly how they were going to get the different perspectives of all the people that they did uh, I thought the film was very well done I really like the angle they came from um, you saw the actual physical destruction and you also got the perspective of a bunch of different people and a bunch of different social classes. You had a lot of people who were living in the um, more wealthy areas, a couple of the people there, and then you had the people who were greatly affected by it, who didn't have the resources or the money to necessarily leave um, and, you know, either just suffered, had family members that died. It's, it's shocking. I didn't know, and I'm kind of embarrassed to say this, but I didn't really know to the extent that Hurricane Katrina affected every, everything. It was, I was, I guess, my junior or senior year of high school, and I remember going back to school, like, you know, around the time that this happened or after it happened, and everybody was talking about it, you know, the school was sending money over, there were a lot of different clubs who were collecting things for the, for the Hurricane Katrina victims. Um, people were, you know, trying, well, I'm not from my high school, but I know a lot of people in the area were going to New Orleans to help. And I think, you know, I, not that I could have gone to help, but I think hearing that people were going to help, everybody kind of thought, oh, it's okay there, like, you know. It's just a hurricane. Everybody got out safe, and yeah, there's floods, but for all the people that are left, you know, people are going there. It's not a big deal. So I think to me, I just assumed, oh, well, people are helping, so it can't be that bad. And over time, you know, seeing footage on the news and stuff, I didn't realize exactly why it was so flooded, and I was like, it was, you know, it was just a hurricane. I understand it was a bad one, but how... Did it get to this extent? And I did not know until I watched this film that it was the whole thing with the levees breaking. So now that I know that, I have a completely different perspective on the whole situation. And I actually want to kind of learn more about it. I know it's years later, but I, I'm interested to hear more about it. Um, I know that in the film, they uh, like a lot of people were very, very angry, especially the people who were told to be evacuated or were told too late or everything was just handled it seems like incorrectly and there was a lot of there were a lot of issues about it and I remember that from around the time it happened I remember the whole Kanye West thing after he was saying that George Bush hates black people and all that stuff that came from that and I didn't really think much of it at the time because I guess I didn't really know to the extent everything was going on I didn't realize how many people were injured or killed in Hurricane Katrina and it the and I don't know why I didn't because there there has been you know there are, to this very moment they are still trying to repair what has happened and people are still trying to get their lives together and it's just so sad to see and I kind of feel really bad that I didn't know to the extent that people's lives were affected um, I, I, like I said before, I really like the angle that the film um, hit. It, I, it was like you could see how so many different people were affected by this in so many different ways, but in the end, everybody was affected. So I thought that was really nicely done. Um, my favorite part of the movie was actually the end of it, of the film, um, when they have people introducing themselves and saying where they're from. Um, it kind of reminded me of the uh, video we did, the one video, um, because I know when I made my video, I 
did something kind of similar, not nearly as good as that, but um, where I had people, you know, say their answer, kind of give you a little insight on who they were, and then at the end, everybody came back, and it was said their name or, or where they were from or whatever. So I thought that was kind of cool. And I really think that was a really good way to end it. Um, I know once they finished with saying everybody's name and stuff, I wanted more, and then the credits came up. But that was a really good way. Instead of just writing all these people on the credits, you know, you could physically see them and hear their voice and kind of see where they were from and relate to them based on what you heard from them before. So I really liked the film. Um, I thought it was something that was really good to see because it relates to everything we've been doing in class. And I definitely want, I want to see more documentaries on Hurricane Katrina now that I've seen that. So that's it. Thanks for listening. Bye.